just when you thought your day really sucked. You suck. Here comes something to make it suck even more. It's a Lamont and Tonelli podcast. You hear it in the background. You know what that means. The time is now. I hear his theme song. <laughs> Got John Cena on the line. Quite an introduction, man. Thank you. Hey, John, what's going, what's on, going man? on, man? How's everything going? It's going great. We're just grooving to your song here, man. <laughs> Love this. Not the, not on the usual playlist of the bone, but I appreciate the shout out. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Absolutely. You know, I'll tell you what. Uh, our producer, Baby Huey is one of your biggest freaking fans. I mean, this guy, Paul, would you say he's he's working? Maybe he was walking around with wood all morning you long. You know, he was talking about how he missed the last Raw event, but he yeah. DVR'd it and was just watching it last night. Yeah. Well, I mean, is it to the point where I'm going to have to be careful when I get to San Jose? Is it like a stalker? <laughs> yeah, you might have a stalker. I mean, I, I, certainly I, I, I'm thankful for all the fans we got, but there are some that are quite peculiar. I just want to make sure <laughs> so that's, I'm going to profile them or get them on a certain list. That it's, would be Baby Huey. Hey, now you guys are coming to town, and let's get a plug in. It's uh, this coming Monday yeah, night. Another edition of Monday Night Raw. And it's at the HP Pavilion in San Jose, and the starting time on this is 5.30 p.m., and you can still get tickets for this. Th- this Is that right? That's correct, and the reason we start so early is because we go live on television on uh, at 9, 9 p.m. Eastern, so that's yeah. going to be 6 p.m. Uh, Pacific, so everybody's got to get in there early. But it's the last Monday Night Raw before SummerSlam. Uh, it's it's going to be a good one. I mean, we've only we only have three matches decided so far for SummerSlam. So basically, anybody that goes to this Raw is going to see what's going to happen for SummerSlam. It's going to unfold in front of their very eyes. And I find it very very interesting that uh, the main event match in this is uh, you're taking on the CM Punk in a champion versus champion match. Is that right? Yeah, I believe it's not. This was supposed to be the SummerSlam match and is a SummerSlam match. I'm going to I'm going to uh, take on uh, CM Punk at SummerSlam, but Triple H is the new chief operating officer of the company and he wanted to do something special for uh, the fans in San Jose. So at the HP Pavilion, it won't be televised. It will only be for the live audience. Uh, I I just found out actually <laughs> about 10 minutes ago that I have a champion versus champion match that night in in San Jose. Okay, now you mentioned Triple H is in charge of Raw. What happened to Vince McMahon? Well, um, I guess the uh, the board of directors and along with the McMahon family decided that uh, I know Vince has done some crazy things in the past, and, and uh, it's getting to the point where it was jeopardizing the company, I guess. So he's uh, temporarily, uh, you never count Vince so out. So hold it, so this Monday, and, uh, so this Monday is the first night that Triple H is in charge of Raw? Last last week was the first night that he's in charge. He was in charge, and his first order of business was to make this champion versus champion match. Wow. So he's already pretty much uh, shaking shaking up the WWE pretty pretty good. And like I said, with one week to go before our biggest event of the summer, you can you can count on Triple H making some important decisions. Well, there you go. Now our super producer Sully is also a fan, big, a big big, re- fan of big wrestling fan. fan. Yeah. And uh, Sully, you've got a question for uh, John Cena, right? Definitely is. You know, I, 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 I think Sully actually even even uh, is a, was a big fan of yours in his home country of Tanzania. <laughs> yes, absolutely. John, I have a question. All righty. All righty. Okay. I talked to CM uh, Punk, and he told me that yes. you have a penile implant. Is that true? <laughs> I guess he must have uh, seen me in the shower, and it must have been unbelievable that something could actually could actually exist of that size. So I, I can understand why it would be he would be misconstrued. Nice. There is a reason why I wear uh, jean shorts instead of the small tights when I wrestle. So uh, you know, I just uh, very nice turnaround. That on that is one, John. great turnaround wow. there, John. I, I, I appreciate the I appreciate the flattery. Yeah. <laughs> Brilliantly done. That see Sully, yes. that is a pro yes. right there. Turn it around. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, John Cena. This Monday night, at HP Pavilion in San Jose. Tickets are on sale now. It's it's Monday Night Raw. And then it's you have, Raw. You have the the huge Summer Slam a week later. Yeah, and uh, by the yeah, way, like I said, guys, it's our uh, it's our last Raw before Summer Slam. I just want to uh, make it aware to everybody that the doors are going to open at five thirty. So make and sure, make sure to be there. Let me add this: and tickets start at only twenty bucks too. I mean, you, that's a pretty darn cheap sheet. Uh, sh- uh, yeah, ticket. 20, uh, me? twenty bucks to get you in the door, and we'll be uh. 
We'll be out there for at least three and a half hours, so you'll definitely get your money. Well, now going is... by the name John, it's all real casino. <laughs> <laughs> the meat. John, I the like meat. It. Okay, John, you're a good guy. Thanks for calling in. Thanks, guys. All Thank right, you. there you go. The great John <laughs> Cena. Another fine product from Uranus. That concludes the Lamont and Tonelli podcast. To hear more and everything Lamont and Tonelli, check out the website at lntworld.com.